This is the first of a multi-part series of a KT88 single ended amplifier that I'm going to be building. This is very similar to the Blue Glow amplifier that uses a KT88, but instead of using a 6AQ8 or ECC85 single driver tube, this uses a pair of triode strap 6EJ7 tubes. It's a very similar design, uses the same transformers, choke, and everything else. It's just got a different driver front end. They were both designed by Kegger. He said he likes the way this one sounds better. And if I decide that I want to go to the design that the Blue Glow amp was, I simply have to redo a little of the driver wiring and change out the front end tubes. That said, Let's start looking at what I'm going to be doing with this build. I'm using a steel Hammond chassis, just like the Blue Glow amp did, but I decided to go with a little larger chassis that's instead of 10 by 17, it's a 12 by 17. And the reason I did that is I wanted a little more room to be able to separate the power supply from the audio signal side of the amplifier. And what these little cardboard boxes are, I went to the EdCore site and got the dimensions of these transformers. And using a vernier caliper, I cut out these little cardboard boxes and taped them up that are the exterior dimensions of the transformers so I could start playing around with the layout while I'm waiting on the iron to get here. So these are all the dimensions of the amplifiers. This is going to be the power transformer. These are the two output transformers and this is the 10 Henry choke. By going with a slightly longer or width chassis I'm able to put the rectifier tube between the power transformer and the choke. And given the way the power supply is wired it the power goes from the transformer to the rectifier the two capacitors are going to be mounted. There's one of them. The two capacitors will be mounted on each side of the rectifier underneath the chassis. And then it goes through the choke, through those capacitors, and then the power comes over to the tubes. By the time it goes past this plane of the chassis, it's going to be clean DC. And I'm um, thinking about even putting a bulkhead across here just to give some extra protection from any kind of signals from the AC hum getting into the audio side of the chassis. The other thing I'm going to be doing different is the way I'm going to be laying out some of the inputs to the amplifier. I'm going to be putting the the power jack is going to go in the back, right behind the power transformer, but then I'm going to put the power switch and the fuse over here on the side so that all the AC is right here under the, all the coarse AC is going to be right under the power transformer, and none of it's going to come up to the front of the chassis, and it's going to keep the wiring really short and tight around the power transistor, or power transformer, I mean. And then, like I said, it'll come up the rectifier, the capacitors, and then the choke. We're going to have the power transformer turn 90 degrees from the two um, output transformers. They're going to have the laminations going this way. This one's going to go this way. And then the laminations on the choke will go this way. And it's going to be across like this, and I believe it's going to be so far away from these signal tubes that it's not even going to be an issue. Um, I may change my mind about that, but we'll see. The other thing I've been looking at is how to place these power tubes. And from reading about these gold, uh, these gold Lion tubes, you want to make sure that you have the fins, which is the direction of the beam, going where the beam isn't going into any other tubes or the other tube. So 
it looks like putting the socket in sideways with a, a line like this puts the plates that the in the direction of the beams in this direction which also if there's any magnetic flux coming off these output transformers they won't deflect the beam because the beams going in this direction whether or not that's a big deal or not I just want to make sure that we have as clean a signal as we can get um, also with this layout I can get these tubes more to the front where it gets them away from the power the heat is not on the power transformers so we're not heating them up and the other thing I'm gonna do a little different is I'm gonna put the power jacks here on the I mean the input jacks over here in the side in front of the power transform the output transformers so that the signal path can go down low around in the bottom of the chassis around down low up here to the front put the volume control right here between these two tubes so the pot will be have a very short path from the volume control up to these signal tubes doing it like this there's all the AC is so far away from these signal tubes and where the RCA jacks are the outputs aren't anywhere near the signal inputs and I think it should help it be a really clean sounding amp well that's really all I've got laid out right now and I'm still waiting on the uh, transformers to get here from EdCore. Our next part of this video will start drilling holes, mounting the iron, and getting ready to start building this thing. Hope you'll enjoy following along and I think this is going to be a really fun build. Thanks for watching.